Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. And uh, I'm excited about this one. Today we're gonna be creating a, an image of a wolf in sheep's clothing. So uh, I think that's a really cool concept to illustrate. And I wanna show you how to do that today. Uh, this comes directly out of the scriptures though, in the Bible, uh, Jesus is speaking in Matthew uh, 7, chapter 7, verse 15, and he says, Beware of the false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but are inwardly ravenous wolves. And so this, this concept comes directly from the scripture, talking about uh, wolf wolves who uh, hide themselves in uh, sheep's clothing to trick people and to, to confuse people. So what we need for this uh, picture is we need a picture of a sheep. And so I've got this one right here. So that's what we're going to start off with. This this is not my uh, photograph. This is not my actual uh, photography here. This was taken off of a free stock website called unsplash.com. And uh, so you're welcome to go and download this picture or any picture of sheep that you might think look better. Or if you have your own picture of sheep, you know, go for that as well. And we also need a picture of a wolf. And so this picture of the wolf uh, also off of unsplash.com. You can go and download both of these at that website, or you can pick, you know, your own uh, wolf pictures that you want to play around with. But these stock websites are great for just practicing and uh, creating artwork like this. So now that we have both of these images, what we want to do is we want to kind of overlay uh, this wolf image uh, where it needs to go. So I'm just going to make my opacity just a little bit lower so I can kind of see what we're doing here. And uh, I'm going to make it smaller. And so um, I want to make this wolf... Um, kind of looking, you know, from the right side of the screen to the left side, just like this sheep is doing. You know, it's more of a, like a profile shot. The, the sheep is looking off to the left. And so I want to make sure that this wolf is also looking off to the left, just to kind of match up that perspective. And I'm going to put him about right in there. I don't have to necessarily make it the exact same size as like their face and everything, but I want to get it pretty close. So I think somewhere right in there is going to look good. All right, so bring that opacity back up. This is where the wolf is. And now I'm just going to get a layer mask. And um, I'm just going to do, I'm not going to use a pen tool to cut out. I'm just going to use a brush and just paint out where this uh, wolf is at. So I'm just painting black on the uh, layer mask to show where the wolf is at. I will make it a little bit more of a fine cutout right over here, right when we get to the edge of his, his snout. Uh, but over here on the left, it's pretty much a nice feathered, I'm sorry, on the right side, it's a nice feathered um, cutout. Now, I'll, I'll worry about a, a finer cutout later as we get into it. Uh, but that's that's about where I want it. I think, that's, I think that could look pretty good. I might move them over just a little bit, kind of like right there. And yeah, I think somewhere right in there is pretty good. Um, yeah, so I think about right there is going to look fine. Now, if you put the wolf right there, I'm actually going to make them a little bit larger. There we go. If you put the wolf right there, you're going to notice a few problems. Um, and we I, we haven't cut out the wolf's face yet or the ears or anything, but I'll, I'll get that in, in a minute. Uh, but one problem that you notice is that we still see that sheep in the background. Uh, we still see this ear right here. We still see that nose right there. And uh, we don't want to see those because we are, we're, we're making the wolf... Um, look like he is uh, inside of the sheep's clothing. So we don't want that that nose and everything there. So all I want to do to get rid of that, I'm not going to do anything fancy here. I'm just going to get a brush and like right where this ear is up here, I'm just going to grab this picture, this uh, color in the background of that sheep, that sheep's body right in the background. I'm just going to paint that color right over it, just like that. It's blurry in the background, so that's that's pretty good. So just sample these colors of that sheep in the background and just paint right there. So now it doesn't have an ear. And we bring that wolf back, and that looks a little bit better. There's no distracting ear there. Same thing for this snout. I'm just going to grab that brownish color right there uh, from that sheep in the background. And since it's blurry, I think this is going to work okay. Uh, but I'm kind of cheating here. I'm just drawing a little bit of color here. And then when we put that wolf back over it, now it's gone. I didn't have to do any type of, um, you know, content aware or any type of um, clone stamping or anything like that. I just essentially just painted colors over the spots it needs to be. And I don't have to do the entire, you know, I don't have to do the entire face. I've only got to do it where it's going uh, to matter the most. So now we've got rid of that face in the background. The next thing I want to do 
is I want to um, I want to put the sheep's head over top of the wolf. So I want to kind of look like the 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 wolf is is kind of got like a costume on. Like the wolf is is hiding inside of the sheep, and it's kind of pulling the sheep's skin and the the, the ears and everything over top of uh, his own head. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go down to my original image and uh, of this sheep. And I'm just going to make a nice little lasso tool right here. There we go. Just a nice big cutout of the head of the sheep. I'm going to copy that and paste it on top of everything. And so now we have this nice little head right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it just slightly larger. Just slightly larger because the wolf's head's a little bit bigger. So the costume needs to be a little bit bigger too. And I'm going to put it right over top of the, the wolf pretty much right in there. Okay, so about right there. Now the wolf um, is covered up with the sheep's head and then I'm gonna get a layer mask and I'm just gonna mask out where the wolf's face is at. So I don't really want uh, the snout of that sheep. So I'm just gonna erase that part of the sheep's snout and I don't want the eye either. I just wanna, I just kinda wanna make it look like the, just the top of the head. Okay, so I'm just erasing part of this sheep's head. Doing it like that. There we go. And, uh, you know, you can get creative in here. You can use your brush and you can kind of make like a really feathered uh, type of, um, you know, where the, the wolf's fur meets the, um, the sheep's fur. You can make it like really soft or you can make it like really hard. Like there's an obvious... Uh, spot where, um, you know, it changes or you can, you know, feather it out, you know, depending on what you uh, are going for there. But I think something like that looks good just to, to mask out um, part of the sheep's face. And now what you have up on top of here is uh, the, the top of the sheep's head and his ears and stuff like that. And then, of course, you want to go up and you want to mask out the rest of that that layer. So like right up in here where we have that sheep's head in the background, you know, you want to make sure that you get rid of that as well, because that would be kind of distracting. Now, as you're doing that, you're noticing that I'm revealing part of that wolf's ears, and uh, I don't want the wolf's ears in the picture. So what I'm going to do is go back down to my wolf, make sure those wolf's ears are not in there. I don't really want the wolf's ears at all in uh, this picture. That's why I didn't cut them out earlier, because there was no point of wasting time and cutting out those wolf's ears uh, when they weren't going to be used. Um, and so, yeah, I think that looks good right there. And then I'm just going to go down to this uh, right side of the wolf, and I'm just going to continue to uh, mask that out like this. A lot of masking in, in uh, edits like this, but uh, this is how you make it look as realistic as possible. Okay, so that's not bad right there. We still got a little bit of fine tuning to do here, but uh, we've got our wolf. There's our wolf. And we've got our sheep's uh, skin or our sheep's head right over top of it. Now what I want to do is I want to work a little bit on the color. Obviously, there's some color problems. Like the, the wolf is, you know, you can see this, these gray colors and it's uh, a, lo a lot cooler in color. And then the sheep has got these nice warm um, tones here. And so what I want to do is I want to uh, edit uh, this wolf to make it look like it blends a little bit better. Also, another thing that you notice is if you zoom in, you know, you can see like the wolf is not very sharp, not very contrasty, but the, uh, the sheep is very much contrasty. And so we want, to, uh, we want to make sure that those blend together also. So let's go ahead and get a, uh, let's try a levels adjustment. I think that's going to work good. A levels adjustment on the wolf. So Control-Alt-G is only going to affect your levels on the wolf layer. And what we want to do is we want to make them a little bit brighter. So let's just bring our whites up a little bit like that. Not too much. You don't want that snout to get, you know, solid white. Um, I think that's good. And let's bring our midtones up a little bit. And then let's bring our blacks down, kind of like that. Okay, so I think that, I think that looks good like that. So the color is still wrong. We'll get the color in a second. But as far as the contrast, I think that's a lot better. You can see the contrast of the uh, the sheep and the contrast of the wolf. I think this I think this brings them together um, a lot better. So that's what I want to do there. Now, as far as the color, there's a lot of different ways to do color. So um, 
Let me show you one way to do color, and then I'm just going to show you a way to kind of cheat. And uh, so let me show you the hard way, and then I'll show you the easy way. So the hard way would be like going through all of these channels in your levels adjustment, like your reds. And now what we want to do is we want to bring our reds up. So let's just drag your reds over to the top, you know, the midtones over to the left. And uh, that helped. I, actually, that was... That was pretty good right there. And then if you want to make it a little bit more yellow, you know, you go to your blues and you pull down on your blues. But I don't think we need to do that type of yellow. Um, I don't think we need that much yellow. If you also want to, you know, add some magenta to it, you go to your greens and you can take away some of the uh, take away greens, which actually gives it more of that magenta uh, flavor to it. And so that's a way to try it. Uh, but it looks like the red channel is the channel we want. We're essentially just adding red to our midtones, and uh, that works pretty good. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, actually, that, that worked out pretty well. I thought it was going to be harder than that. Uh, but if you don't want to do it that way, the way to cheat is you go down to your original layer, this layer right here, and um, I'm just going to select out this sheep's wool right here. So just a nice little selection of that sheep's wool. I'm going to copy that and paste that, and bring it all the way to the top. And so now you have, you just have this little triangle of this, um, of this sheep's uh, wool right here with this nice warm color. And uh, now let's bring that on top of the wolf. So let's actually bring that. So it's on top of the wolf. Control Alt G will clip it. So now we have that nice little triangle on top of the wolf. Let's make it bigger so it, it completely fills the wolf's face. And then what you want to do is change it to color. If you change it to color, what that's going to do, it's going to take all of that, um, those color attributes of the sheep um, fur or wool, and it's going to apply it to this wolf. Now, there are some issues because, you know, some of the colors are black, which means there's no color. So you see this, these little weird things going on in here. But the way you fix that is just go to blur and Gaussian blur. And then there you go. And that is one way to fix the color as well. So I probably wouldn't do 100% like that, but I would at least use that to start with, maybe do like 50 or 60%. And you can see how that really makes it blend into uh, the colors of the sheep. So that, those are two ways to do it. You know, if you don't want to use the levels adjustment, you can try using the color uh, or you could try hue. Let's see how hue works. Hue did not work very well. So let's try the color blend mode. So you can try the color blend mode to match that color, or you can do the levels adjustment, or you can do a mixture of both. But those are those are a couple ways to get your colors to match up. So I'm going to do a mixture of both. I'm just going to do about 30 or 40% of my color on our wolf, and then the levels adjustment as well. Okay, I think that looks pretty good like that. I think that's blended in there pretty well. So the, the last thing I really want to do for this image is I just want to zoom in and just start working on our selection. So the wolf's face, for example, remember we just did it really fast earlier. We just went with a little brush and we just kind of just we we masked out the edges of this this wolf, but we didn't spend a lot of time doing it. So that's what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to zoom in, get a brush and just really fine tune this uh, selection here make it look like it's more of a um, intricate cutout like that. Then right up here, like where it's eye, you know, the, the back part of its, uh, of his right eye looks a little weird. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. Like that. And over here looks good for now. Now, as we get here, you see like, you know, the wolf's hair is nice and fine and the sheep's wool is not. And so this is where you need to figure out how you're going to get it to blend in there. So I could just kind of feather it. Like if I got a low flow on my brush, I could just kind of feather it in there. And so it's like the wolf's uh, fur essentially just goes away like right at the neck. So you could do it that way. You know, that is one option to do. So it just kind of like feathers in to the sheep's wool. That's that's one way to do it. So that's not bad. Uh, another way that you could do it is do more of a hard, um, a hard blend. So you could like make it like at a certain spot, the hair just stops like right here at this you could just follow like the the ridges of this uh, this sheep, and you can make it like a little bit harsher like that. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that. Um, it it 
it just doesn't look very natural if you do that. So I think in this case, it's probably better just to to do like a, a nice, fine, um, feathered edge here. So it just kind of fades into it, kind of like that. I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good like that. All right, last thing I want to do, let's go up here to the very top and let's fine tune this little sheep's head up here. I want to make sure that this looks as natural as possible. So let's go ahead and let's see if I erase that part right there, I'm starting to reveal that wolf. So let's go down to our wolf and erase part of the wolf. There we go. And then do it like that. And we'll go up here, fine tune this. You can see how it's kind of like fading in from the, the sheep's face into the wolf's face. And that's, that's kind of what we want there. We just want it to kind of fade in there. So just play around with your layer mask, you know, do your blacks and whites to, to reveal and to hide and uh, just, you know, try to make it look as, as uh, seamless as possible. And uh, I think that's that is not bad. I think that's not bad like that. So guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you do that. You're going to get two, um, two images. You're going to get a picture of a wolf, a picture of a sheep, and uh, overlay them and then do a bunch of layer masking and get that color correction going. And then you'll get a nice, cool picture like this. But I know this was a short tutorial, only about 15 minutes long. Uh, but this is how you can uh, blend these images. And so I hope that you take these tools and uh, go out and practice on your own. Try it with other animals. See if you can get some really cool or funny pictures, uh, you know, blending animal faces and stuff like this and just have fun with it. But guys, that's all I've got for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again at the next video.